Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a REST client uh, applications in C++ Builder. First of all, REST is, uh, well, it's simply just another way to describe the web. And uh, from C++ Builder XC5, uh, uh, you have uh, available uh, brand new components to uh, communicate with REST web services. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, in order to demonstrate, I found this open weather map uh, site. It pretty much allows you to connect to it and gather uh, weather information using the uh, REST uh, service. So uh, pretty much what we are going to do is to create a, a REST client that will uh, be connecting to this uh, REST uh, uh, service and ask uh, weather data for some city. For example, if I go here to API, so I'm going to say current weather data and as you can see I can request uh, current weather data for one location, several cities and so on and I can uh, get the result in a JSON, uh, XML or HTML format. Uh, let's see here for, once, uh, look for one location and uh, as you can see, okay, this is the example link. And uh, well, as uh, you can see, this is how it is. Uh, we have requested the data for London and in XML uh, mode, XML format. So we have uh, two parameters, Q meaning location, London and mode meaning uh, how to get the information back. I can uh, specify here JSON as well uh, or HTML as well. Uh, because they are all supported as we saw in the first case. So what we need to do is create our application in C++ Builder that will pretty much get this information for some uh, city, for example. Uh, I will create VCL Forms application and let's find the rest here. Uh, okay, here it is. So you have these components available uh, from XC5 and later. So I'm going to place a client, a request and response components. Uh, as you can see, you have uh, various components for authentication itself. Uh, for example, simple authentication, HTTP basic and uh, one and two, this uh, uh, out un authentication, right? Uh, that is the reason I chose this uh, web service uh, because it doesn't uh, require any of those. Uh, it's uh, simply it's it's very uh, easy access. Uh, for example, this uh, web service here. Well, uh, it does require some additional stuff like API key, and first you need to uh, sign up uh, to get it, and then. Uh, later on you can uh, use the REST web service. But in this case, like I said, this one doesn't require anything and uh, that is why it's perfect for us to, de to demonstrate the uh, basic REST client. So I have uh, these three components here and what I need to uh, set now is the base URL. And the uh, base URL is uh, this here. Okay, and I will place it here. So this is where my client will go. Uh, but uh, you need to see that I have two parameters. These are the queue and mode. Uh, queue defines the location that I'm inspecting and mode uh, defines the uh, format output. So I'll need to specify these two uh, parameters as well. But these two parameters are specified in the request. Okay, so I have these parameters here and I'll specify these two. The first one is the queue and we said it was a London. Okay. And the second one is mode. Okay. And mode and we said we'll start with the XML. Okay. So this is all I need to do right now. Uh, I'll use the memo component to show the result. Okay, and uh, to simplify things, I'll use the live bindings designer. 
okay so i bindings design will help me to uh, connect all these components uh, for example when i uh, request something from the rest web service okay it will uh, get inside this uh, rest request one contact uh, content uh, attribute and i will connect that attribute with the memo one so meaning when uh, this content uh, is not empty it will pretty much show its value inside the memo uh, component so uh, execute for example right click here on the request and execute response 200 uh, meaning everything is just fine okay so uh, this is the example but uh, okay as we can see it's a London here and it's XML format but let's try to specify some other format as well so I'll place edit here okay and I'll uh, parameters this Q parameter okay we said the Q is a location so I'll connect the Q with the edit one and I'll connect the mode to edit two and I'll add a button so this button will uh, execute a request rest uh, request execute okay so now let's see okay so now we have information weather information for london in xml format let's now try to get it in json okay so we have json html okay let's say paris okay did i get anything uh london again Uh, JSON again, okay, and Paris, okay, now it's, it got it, right, right, it's working, so, uh, that is how it's done, it's pretty easy uh, to get, uh, to send and get the request, uh, and all you need to do is to find uh, the rest uh, services that you uh, are interested in uh, like i said uh, not all of them are pretty easy to use for example this one you need to sign up for the api key and what you would do is uh, to add additional parameter to your request uh, and specifying your key as the value of that parameter so uh, that's pretty much it guys i hope uh, you find it interesting in case of any questions like always post it in your comments thank you for watching and see you later